we knew we had special kids. Um, and just watching them play, they were all friends, they all got along, uh, they all loved playing um, with each other in Little League. And then when they go to their club ball teams, they all love playing against each other and, and they just kind of rose up to that, uh, that level. You have the day-to-day -day managing and coaching and all that, and you don't see everything that's being broadcast on television. We, we had no idea what was happening here at home. You text with friends and they tell you, oh my God, you know, the city's going mad. They, they're they're uh, uh, you know, just amazed at how well everybody's doing. And you sit there and you're like, okay, you know, everybody's happy, and, but you don't, you don't get to see the, the excitement. Austin Krizik was a star. Uh, they were very courteous, they were very kind. I mean, for 12 year olds, that's another thing that uh, gets lost in all this. The stuff that they have to deal with outside of playing the game while they're there. I don't know how 11 and 12 year olds do it. And I don't know how Ashton Cave did it as a coach to be able to help them do it. But Austin Krizik was a mega star. Never been a team from the state. I was a kid in their position to try to go back when I was 12 and we came up short to see it actually happen um, and what it did to Las Vegas. Uh, at the time, you know, the Vegas Knights hadn't been around yet, so I can't really compare it to what the, the, the Cup run did last year, but I would compare it to the 1990 Rebels and the ex excitement that it brought to Las Vegas. And these kids will, you know, 20 years from now be looked at as legends for the kids that took it all the way to the World Series.